This is how you get 200 FPS on a low-end laptop. And to prove it to you guys that it works, I'm gonna do it live on my low-end laptop with a Ryzen 3 and only 6 gigs of RAM. You might ask yourself, how are we gonna do it? First of all, we're gonna reduce the amount of processes on your CPU. Then we're going to tweak your CPU specifically for gaming and enable one mode, which a lot of people are actually missing out on, which can literally double your FPS, especially on low-end hardware. And then finally help you out to balance your RAM usage a little bit better so that you can have more stable FPS. After applying all of this, I literally got on my low-end laptop guys over 120 fps in ranked and 200 fps with literally no delay in creative and there are so many people missing out on important performance which you need for competitive so therefore if you're on a budget this is the right video which you're going to watch afterwards you're definitely going to increase your fps by a lot and i'm going to show you this one specific in-game step which you also have to apply guys which can literally help you out so much if you guys want to seriously improve in fortnite make sure to check out the ultimate practice hub grab all of your friends and join in there you can not only play box fights build fights realistic but also a whole entire custom no build map so you can basically practice for any competition with all of your friends seamlessly without loading times the map code is right now on screen and now the first step which you guys need to pay close attention to is reducing the amount of processes on your cpu that one is super important and the easiest way to do this is getting a custom os like atlas os this one is really popular and it helps you out a ton especially on lower end hardware if you open up right now your test manager and check your processes chances are likely that you're gonna have over 150 200 sometimes even 300 processes on your cpu and all of these extra processes slow down your pc by a lot actually reducing its performance in gaming and even while normal casual use and what atlas os basically does it's a modified version of windows 10 or windows 11 for me as an example i installed a fresh copy of windows 10 then you get two files from the official website put them on a usb stick and just simply go through the whole installation process it took me in total maybe like 20 minutes and the main benefits are that atlas os is going to reduce the amount of processes all the way down to something like 50 60 processes only which is really not a lot for windows and also the ram usage goes down by a lot like previously windows is using like three four gigs of ram and with atlas os i'm barely using 1.6 to 1.9 even while recording a video on this laptop directly i already made an in-depth step-by-step -step guide exactly on how to install atlas os on any pc so therefore make sure to check it out afterwards but let's continue now to the next step and of course guys the most important part is as well your ping this is why you see fncs winners like Mero, asian jeff and many more pros use jira booster the best part is, with my link in the description, you can actually try it out for absolutely free, guys. Jira Booster is gonna look for the best DNS server in your near, always making sure that you have the lowest and most stable ping. Even if you already have really good ping, guys, it's still worth it because it's gonna make it way more consistent. The Jira Booster is gonna actively in the background search for the best DNS servers, always making sure that you have the best connection to Fortnite. As mentioned, check it out for absolutely free with the link in the description, guys. The next up, what I did, I actually got my hands onto Process Lasso, which is a very common tool in order to basically optimize your cpu and this is exactly how it should look like in the first place what i did i went onto main made sure to check here manage processes of all users the next up for my active power profile i actually kept here now the atlas power seam one since this one works pretty well here on this laptop and then i enabled pro balance then you gotta go over to options go under general make sure to actually go down here to refresh interval gui and put this one to five seconds you're gonna do the same as well with refresh interval governor they're gonna put it to five seconds as well and what we now have to do is basically go into our epic games or better said Fortnite and let it run in the background since we need to get the exit in this program to showcase. So what we're gonna do is real quick actually launch the game in the background and then I'm gonna see you guys just in a second. So guys and since Fortnite is now running actively in the background all we gotta do is basically find Fortnite in this list here real quick and there we already got it. Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exit. And now next up we're going to right click onto it go under CPU priority go under always and make sure to set this one to high. This is super important guys. And now we have the most important step guys under CPU affinity you can go under always and you can see that i don't have every single core actually enabled here under amd it's called smt on intel it's called hyper threading you've probably heard about it already and you're wondering okay what does it do and why do i have so many cores actually disabled let me explain this real quick let's go into the task manager under cpu and you can see that i have four cores but actually eight logical processes which means that i have four real cores but also additional virtual ones which aren't really there on my cpu you know basically just a calculation mechanism on my CPU and what we basically do with disabling SMT and affinity is that we force our CPU to only use the real ones because let's just say as an example that Fortnite utilizes the first four cores mainly I would have a real one a fake one a real one and a fake one they're obviously not fake I'm just trying to give you an example and with disabling SMT we basically disabled all of the not real ones on our CPU which forces it to use only the real ones and this can actually give you a huge performance increase if you disable SMT on AMD especially 
especially. This worked as well perfectly fine for CS2, Dead Island 2 and everything which I played on this laptop. I did a bunch of tests and I gotta say on AMD it worked a lot better than on Intel. There it actually did the opposite so therefore I would only recommend you this if you're actually using an AMD CPU or if you have an Intel one you can try it out still guys and if you don't like it you're just gonna go here under none and it's gonna reset everything and enable all of them again. The next up we're gonna go under INO priority, go under always and this one we're also gonna set to high and then we're already good to go. So guys and we just swapped our Fortnite here back to full screen and we're already getting close to 200 FPS again. This is also a very important tip guys actually on most laptops you should utilize with an AMD GPU DirectX 12. I don't know why mine is right now set on performance mode probably because it's the same profile from my main PC where I actually utilize this but usually on a laptop I always utilize DirectX 12 guys with the lowest settings. If you're on Intel integrated graphics or like a very low end Nvidia card you should definitely utilize the performance mode but as mentioned on AMD and AMD integrated graphics definitely utilize DirectX 12 then for the rest put everything to the lowest. Make sure that report performance sets is disabled and then as well go here down until you can find replace which should be right here which you also all want to completely turn off and once you're done with that I also installed here real quick ISLC. Since we are already dealing with a pretty limited amount of RAM guys you should definitely make sure to have this tool running in the background. You can see my total system memory is 6 gigs only and my free memory is 4000 and the lower this one here gets the more chunky your system is gonna run and it's also gonna affect your performance in Fortnite. So what you actually want to do is go under the list size at least just simply leave it on 1 gig of RAM and then for the free memory lower then you're just gonna put half of your total system memory. So for me it's 6000 so I'm gonna put it to 3 gigs and you're gonna check these two boxes here go on the right side and put your wanted timer resolution to 0.5 it's gonna automatically put in the zeros guys it's just simply like the small decimal number then your wanted timer resolution you're gonna put to 0.5 then enable custom timer resolution and click under start the ISLC polling rate by the way I'm gonna keep on 1000 if you have a little bit better PC you can experiment around with 500 this is the perfect value especially for lower end PCs and then just simply minimize it and it's gonna run in the system tray in the background which is exactly where you want to have it and yeah guys these are all of the ways I'm getting 200 FPS in Fortnite actually on this low end laptop. I hope this video was helpful. If so, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel guys. And if you have any more questions, also feel free to join discord.gg slash lost where I'm going to help you out or my mods guys. And with that said, have a great day.